Good afternoon, everybody. I'm coming back with another video for you guys today. So today is a follow-up to my uh, last video where I was talking about uh, investing and prospecting in young players. And I told you that I had some purchases coming in. So uh, I've gotten some of those back. wanted to share them with you so I could get them put away. Um, and then I would share TTMs with you, but uh, I didn't get any coming in. So I don't, I don't know. So we got one for the week TTM-wise, which was really low, obviously. But... Uh, uh, we will continue sending out and we will continue hoping that stuff comes back. So a reminder, if you're interested in the Beckett authentication submission for the month of April, it is due to me by April 27th. Um, so you guys, you know, it's getting to that point where uh, it's going to start getting tight on shipping timeframes to me. So if you guys are interested, don't forget to get it out to me. Email me if you haven't already and uh, we will uh, have another successful group submission. So, getting on to my purchases. So, as you guys know, I am choosing to invest prospect into Christian Pache. Uh, you know, if you watched my last video, you know I, I feel that he's going to get a ton of playing time, a ton of chances with Oakland. Uh, with no expectations for the team to do anything, uh, it will allow him to kind of go through those ups and downs and learning curves. And so, I think he's got as about a best shot as any um, to uh, not only be successful but to show uh, his full talent that uh, everybody has projected him to have. So with that being said, I um, wanted to uh, show you what I've picked up. So we picked up another uh, Tops rookie of Pache. I think this is like number four or five. Um, can never have enough Tops rookies. And so um, as long as I'm picking up picking him up between a dollar and two, uh, I will continue to do so in the hopes that he gets things rolling. So we've got the base rookie. This is the update uh, rookie debut of uh, Christian Pache. So I've gotten a few of these as well. Um, what I'm looking at now is I'm looking at the variations for the base. I want to say that there's two variations. I, I, I could be wrong. There might be more, but I know that there's at least two variations of the base. So I'm looking to try to get those. And uh, we'll see if I'm lucky enough. I mean, you can get them. It's just a matter of I'm trying to get them for a good price. This one I was so thankful to get. It's the uh, 86 Tops uh, variation of Mr. Pache. And you can see, got the rookie emblem right there. Love this card. Um, obviously, the 86 Tops looks nice. And so to get this um, was definitely exciting. So I think that would look great slabbed up. Uh, Centering's a little off, but... Like I said in the last video, if he does what he could do uh, at the prices I'm getting these four nines would probably even be worth it. So here is his uh, 2017 Bowman Chrome. And um, the interesting about thing about this is <clears> that someone had pointed out to me, and, and I'm thankful because I hadn't caught it, is that his 2018 Bowman is the card that says first Bowman on it, but his 2017 Bowman doesn't doesn't say first bowman so i guess it was an oversight maybe or something going on there or whatever but this is his 2017 bowman chrome i'm still looking for the paper version of it but uh definitely glad to get the chrome version so put that right there the next one we got let me clean off the case here real quick the next one we got is the certified rookie of Mr. Pache. So it's a shiny card there. See the back of it right there? Leaf certified. Or what used to be Leaf certified. It's now Panini certified. So we got that Pache. Put it right there. And then we picked up... What is this? Is this Heritage? Uh, I want to say it's either Heritage or Archives. Um... Pache right here. Definitely love the uh, vintage retro look to it. I have a few more of these coming on their way. I still have some more coming, so when I get those in, I will share those with you as well. But uh, another nice card. This one I was so happy to pick up. So I love Topps Gallery to begin with, but we were able to get one of the... Uh, Vera foil variations. So we got 
this version and it's serial numbered out of 99. So this card is really, really nice. And as you can see, it is serial numbered right there, 39 out of 99. So we got a nice lower numbered Pache rookie right there. Again, so far all of these I'm showing you I picked up between $1 and $2 each. Eddie at Eddie's Cardboard Chaos. Well, let me show that one. I don't know why I didn't put that up there, but I didn't. So let me show that one off. So this next one that I'm going to show you, Eddie, uh, Eddie at Eddie's Cardboard Chaos is going to love. It is the Stadium Club Chrome Pache Rookie. The marks you see are just the case, guys. But uh, another great looking card right there. Show you the back of it. So glad to pick up this Chrome card. Put that one right there. The next one we have is the 2018. So this is what I'm talking about, right, guys? So this is this 2017. This is this 2018, and you can see the 2018 says first Bowman up there in the corner, but the 2017 doesn't. So I don't know what that's about. If you guys happen to know and want to put it in the comments, I would appreciate it. But uh, his first Bowman of 2018, uh, we got the paper card right there. I have a few of these coming. Um, I'm probably going to get more of the Bowmans. Just in the past, it seems like... It seems like if someone's going to hit big, usually their tops uh, base or update or their first Bowman tend to be the, the high price cards. So I'm trying to hit those cards a little bit heavier just in case, but I want to mix it up with some other stuff. So uh, right here we have the Diamond Kings. So it's a Diamond Kings debut, Christian Pache. I thought this card looks great. Of course, it's, you know, Diamond Kings, so they always look great, but... Love the way the artwork turned out on this one. And there's the back of the card. So I can't complain about the, that one. And now the, the rest of them that I have to show you guys, they're all slabbed cards. So, so this first one is the Bowman Chrome Prospects in 2018. Uh, got a mint nine. I was able to get this, guys. I was able to get this in auction. Um, obviously I want tens, but I just couldn't pass this up. I got this in auction shipped to my door for under $6, under $6. I got this, uh, Bowman Chrome. So I had to jump on it. Couldn't pass it up. Um, again, if things work out my way, uh, you get much more than $6 for a nine. If, if things end up going well for him, so couldn't pass that up. I'm still in the market for a 10, of course, but uh, it'll be good for now. This next one was an awesome pickup, in my opinion. It's the 2020. It's not 2021. It's 2020. Donruss Optic Rated Prospects. Christian Pache in a gem mint 10 from PSA. This one I was able to pick up for right at $8 shipped. So, again, it was one of those cards I just couldn't pass up. It's a perfect 10. Um... I was just uh, amazed I was able to get it for such a good price. And again, I mean, it's a gem in 10. Uh, like I said, it's not the first Bowman and it's not uh, Topps rookie, but it's kind of one of those cards that I could see kind of in the middle of the road, possibly, uh, price-wise. And so jumped all over it in a gem mint. So happy to get that one. Trying not to let anything fall here. And this last one, I just could not pass up. I got this one for under 20 and I, I know these cards can be higher priced um, for the top for the top level players. And so for under 20 I had to jump all over it. It is SGC, but it's the uh, Panini Contenders Baseball, and it's 2020. It's the uh, Prospect Ticket, and as you can see, the autograph got a 10. The card got a 9.5 which is a mint plus. And so for under $20, I, again, it was one of those things I just could not pass up. I was able to get it at a good price. I submitted a best offer and they took it and I jumped all over it. So definitely, definitely glad to get this autograph. It's my first Pache auto. Um, 
I have a couple more to show you guys uh, as soon as they come in. But that is what I have so far. So, like I said, this was a follow-up to my previous video. You guys can follow me along my Pache prospecting journey and then uh, throughout the year we'll kind of see how he's doing i gotta say so far i think he's starting off the year pretty good um his batting average has kind of hovered around the, the 300 ish mark um like i said that's going to be the big question mark with him is his batting um but uh, so far so good um hopefully he won't be batting ninth his the entire year hopefully as he's uh improving he'll move up the lineup but uh you know what he's been doing pretty good so that is a good start for us. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoy the video. You can see Kimmy's there. Um, hope you guys all have a blessed evening and hope you guys enjoy your Easter. And as always, guys, until our next video.